Hi guys, this is Sean with Everything Sweet. Now we're making a classic today. Uh, we're making a black forest cake. That's gonna require two different layers, chocolate layer and a white layer, okay? Then you're gonna need some whipped cream. We're gonna go ahead and we got a bowl in the fridge here. That bowl needs to be chilled because we're working with whipped cream, okay? Get our whipped cream out here. Get about a third of cardigan. So we went and got another half of cardigan. We're gonna put that in. And shake that up pretty good. Put that in. We're gonna get our whipped cream on. Then we're gonna show you what else you need. Okay. Yeah, the whipped cream probably gonna take the longest time to get this going. So we're gonna go ahead and get this get this going. Now, that's about carton. In the carton, we're gonna add a half a cup of grain lake sugar. Okay. Half a cup of grain lake sugar. Now we're gonna put this on the mixer. We're gonna mix about three to four minutes, maybe five. And we'll be back when the whipped cream uh, get to the peaks. And then we're gonna show you how to assemble this black forest cake. Okay? We'll be right back. Okay, this is our whipped cream uh, mixing. Mixing about three minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish it up. We're gonna go to fourth gear. About another minute or two. It should have peaks on it. it should be ready to go. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, this is what you need to make this classic black forest cake. You need some cherry pie filling. You need some almond paste. This is how it comes, a little box like this. We only use half the box. Almond paste. And you're gonna need marshmallow cherries with the stem on it. We got eight there, we're probably gonna need seven. Okay, and with that other layer, you need to crumble it up and make you some crumbs. Made some crumbs, put it in the oven about eight minutes, and this is what you got. Now, it look kind of strange, but all of it going to come together. And you're going to need some, some wine. Clear wine. It really don't make no difference what kind you get. But whatever you get, if you can't drink it, then don't use it. If you can't drink it, that's just good. So, remember, if you're not gonna drink it, don't use it. So if you're gonna drink it, then it's good to use, okay? And you see I'm drinking it, so I'm, I'm gonna use it. All right, that's that pretty good. Now you're gonna need a chocolate layer, and you're gonna need a white layer. Both of those have been split in half, okay? Now the recipe for both of these on my page. When we made the white layer, we made coconut cake. And we made the chocolate layer, we made chocolate doorbosh. So go in there and get those out of there, and, and this is what you're gonna need. So, okay, we're gonna start to assemble. You already need the whipped cream. We can already got that right there. And we're gonna put a little whipped cream down first, and the chocolate layer go down. Okay, we're gonna use the bottom here. We want that bottom to be firm, okay? All right, once you got that chocolate layer in there, you take your almond paste. Now, we just made a little roll here. We just took it, rolled it on the table, and made a roll out of it, okay? Goes around the cake like this. And the purpose for that, it's another layer of flavor, but it's also gonna keep your pie filling in, okay? We're gonna take our pie filling. We got about a cup of pie filling, we might not use it all. Pie filling go in that ring. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna use the cup. Okay, you're gonna have that pie filling in that ring like that. So move that thing out. Once you got it smoothed out, 
and you're ready for your next layer. Okay, next layer is going to be your white layer. Flat side, go down again. Flat side of the cake, go down. Okay, you want to press that thing lightly now. You don't want to press it like you're trying to press a hole in it. Now, this is where the wine comes in, that's it. We take a cap of wine, and we put that all around there like that. A little bit more ain't going to hurt, right? Okay. Cap that good wine. Now you're ready for your topping, the whipped cream. Take that whipped cream, come on top of that thing like that. Gonna spread that out. Okay, got some little whipped cream for that. Now we're gonna take this other chocolate layer, put them on top of that. I know that we put that top side down this time. You're gonna take some more of your good, <laughs> your good wine, a couple tops of that on this one. All right, we ain't trying to make nobody drunk, okay? But you can use as much meat or as little as you need. Okay, we coming back with another layer with topping. Got another layer of whipped topping. And the final layer. Notice we're going to put the cut side down, smooth side up. I want that top to be as smooth as possible, okay? Get some more of that wine. That wine on that thing. I want everybody to be able to taste a little bit of it, okay? You don't want to drench any wine, but everybody needs to taste a little bit of that wine when you're cutting that cake. See, all that uh, cherry pie filling and almond paste, all that going to come together. Now, it's just good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> I should have got more wine for me. Okay, we're going to ice the top of this monster here. Then we're going to ice the sides, okay? Gonna finish icing this thing up and we'll be right back. Okay, we are finished icing it up and we're gonna smooth it out on the top on the sides. All we're doing is pushing that whipped cream out a little further. Then we take that spatula and go around there. Turn that table. That's why they call it a turntable. See, you turn that thing. See how that thing turn? Just hold that thing. Now, you don't have to be smooth because what you're gonna do. Once you get as smooth as possible, so you can put those chocolate crumbs around there. So it don't have to be perfect. See, you don't want to fool with too many recipes that they say got to be perfect. If we did that, then probably won't nobody try the recipe. Because I'm talking about it takes a lot of work to get perfect. So basically, you want to get it where it looks halfway decent. It don't have to be perfect, okay? We're gonna get this pan out of the way here. We're gonna bring our pan here. Our chocolate crumb. Now I see people leave them on the turntable, you know, trying to put side in them. No, you don't wanna do that. 
It's too much trouble and it's too time consuming to leave it on the turntable trying to put crumbs on it. What do you do? You slide this thing to you. Take that thing over there where the crumbs is or whatever size uh, side you're going to put on that thing. Lean that thing just a little bit and just work that thing. Keep trying to put no siding on there on the turntable. That's not what the turntable is designed for. It's designed to ice fix and help you out. Take that finger, get that excess off there, okay? Now these crumbs, they've been in the oven about eight minutes. Dry them out just a little bit. But if you want to skip that part, you probably can. So that whipped cream going to soften them right back up, okay? Now, man, I'm trying to do this on the turntable, okay? Lord, how much. I see why I want nobody to bake. You make stuff that difficult, nobody going to want to do it. So with my years of experience, they taught not to work hard, they work smart. And get them crumbs off there like that, okay? You don't have to get them all off. Okay, we got that side done, okay? Now we're going to take our pastry bag with a star tube in it. And we're going to make seven, what name them thing, Hank? Rosettes. We're going to make seven rosettes. Okay? That's what we're going to do. We do with this for the moment. We ain't going to get rid of it now. We're not going to get rid of that. Whipped cream with our star tube, and we're gonna make seven rosettes. Okay? Man, I can't wait to cut in that thing. I'm talking about you got cherry pie filling, you got almond paste. Now, y'all not feel familiar with almond paste? Almond paste is just almonds chopped up to make a paste out of. You like almond. You should have no problem with almond paste, okay? Okay, we're gonna put one row of that in the center here. Just like that. Put one there. We're gonna put another one over there. And we're gonna put one here. And two, three, four, one there. That's four. There, and we're gonna put one there. Okay, okay we got seven in. Now, with them chocolate crumb you thought you threw it, you're not through it. Chocolate crumb goes on top of that thing. Lord, how much. Oh, somebody called somebody. Somebody called somebody. So somebody needs to know what we're doing over here. Man, we, we, we hooking these things up. Y'all need to be on the phone. Corky. I'm calling you, Corky. Now you need the Marchino cherries. Marchino cherries come in a little jar. You want the one with the stems on it. That's how it gets the name, Black Forest. Yeah, you want to put Marchino cherry on top of every one of them. What thing them thing called, hey? Rosette. Rosette. You need to put a Marchino cherry. Oh, that, that, that Marchino cherry didn't want to stay. The Marcino cherry, you need the one with the stem on it now. That's how I get the name. Black Forest. Somebody created this, and I think they did a hell of a job. Okay. Okay. Now that's your finished product right there, baby. All we got to do is come back for the taste test. Now remember, whatever wine you decide to put in that thing, <laughs> make sure you drink it. If you don't want to drink that wine, don't use that wine. We'll be wrecked for back for the taste test. How y'all doing? We back for the taste test. Why y'all was gone? Why I was gone? We shave, uh, shave some chocolate. And you can put some of that chocolate on there when you shave it like that. Now nah, that's total option. You know, just everything is sweet, so you know. We're we going to do a little bit more. We're going to get all of them taste. 
ties in there together, you know. Now your display plate, gonna put a few shaved chocolate on that display plate. And we're gonna put some more on there when we cut it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut this thing. See what we got here. Oh Lord, Oh, I can tell. Man, we finna. Oh, I don't know. Do I need that cherry? Or do I come over here? Why well, I come over here? You take that cherry right there, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, somebody in for trouble. Somebody need to call somebody's mama and tell her, hey, Charles is doing things over here. Charles can't do too much. I gotta find the spatula now, see? Uh, somebody been in my uh my little round table is okay. I got this. I'm gonna come out with that that cake. Oh, that much look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay it down. I get. I might just set it up. Let's just set it up for right now. And uh, look at that. Man, just look at that thing. Mm. Oh, how much? Uh uh, we're gonna take a few pictures. Then we're gonna lay it down. Then we're gonna eat it, okay? Okay, we back for the taste test. Uh, we just made a classic black forest cake with uh, marshmallow cherries, almond paste, cherry pie filling, whipped cream, two kind of different layout. And we got some good wine in between the layers. Now, we can't let you paper taste too much of this, but we're going to let our taste testers taste it, okay? Okay. Look at the camera, John. Look at me. No, forget. Now, this is a beautiful cake, and I love it. I have to try this. Oh, mm. You really have to try this. Because it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. This thing is so good. Here's <laughs> Fantastic. Look at her too. Two dumb stuff. You ain't going out with those. You got whipped cream. Okay? Whipped cream? What's whipped cream? Yes, sir. You got white chocolate layers. And chocolate. You got almond milk. paste. Cherry pie filling. You got mm. shaved chocolate mm. on the top. Mm. Huh? To top it off, you got marshino cherries on the top with the stem. Mm. Lord, how much it? If you don't try this, See, that wine that I was drinking earlier. Mmm. Y'all go here. That little wine ain't gonna hurt y'all. Mmm. 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 I like the chocolate. No, you don't know how to cut, girl. Let me see. Let me help you out. Okay. You taste that whipped cream, son? How that whipped cream taste? It tastes delicious. Oh, my God. What I'm talking about. Kiki, you taste that you taste that wine in there? Yeah, you didn't taste no wine now. You just taste sweet. That's all you want is sweet. I don't want sweet. What you want? I want the pancake. Now, if you see anything on this video you like, mm. don't forget to like hit the like button and please subscribe. And we'll be back next week with another <laughs> delicious dessert. So y'all stay with us. Until next time. Mm -mm. See you later, guys.